Kaboom! Yes, welcome to the channel, guys, and today I'm going to share a secret attack with you. The other day I was shopping, walking down the frozen goods aisle. Somebody just bumped into me and said, Mr. Moose, they handed me a piece of paper and said, try that attack strategy, then they ran off. So here we are, guys, we're going to try it out, and it is amazing. So four root riders, ten Valkyries, and ten Druids. Spells are going to be eight Invisibility, three Earthquake, a Rage, and a Poison spell to sprinkle on top. Clankers of Troops, it's up to you. A couple of Yetis or some Valkyries inside Siege Barracks or Log Launcher, depending on the base. Now, hero equipment is what makes this attack strategy shine. We're going to try and take out the town hall before the main attack has really even begun. So the main things we need are max level giant arrow, at least level 21 fireball, plus three max level earthquake spells. So theoretically, this can work from town hall 14 plus. Now, this attack is a bit down to luck, but it is the sort of attack. If you get it right, your clan mates are going to be thinking, wow. We've got a professional on the team, or maybe not, you know, but they might be thinking, what are they doing? Oh, wow, they've taken out the town hall. So these are friendly challenges. We're going to see how it works now. So we'll start with a Grand Warden walk, because, of course, we need that fireball on the Grand Warden to reach the town hall. Some bases are easier than others. The town hall might be on the edge of the base. This one, a particularly difficult one, because it's in the centre. So we're going to use those invisibility spells to hide defences so the fireball goes to the centre. But you're going to have to put in a bit of groundwork first, a couple of druids with the Grand Warden there, take out a few defences, and when it feels the right time, then we're going to start hiding things and sending the Fireball into the centre of the base. Then we're going to follow it up with three Earthquake spells, a Fireball, then the Giant Arrow to take out the Town Hall. So there we go. Invisibility spells, I've used all my fingers there to put them down quickly. There's the Fireball, three Earthquake spells, goodbye defences, and who's that on the left-hand side of the base with the Giant Arrow? Yes, it's the Queen. Line up your Giant Arrow with the Town Hall, and goodbye. Now, is this the best attack strategy at Town Hall 16? Almost certainly not. Is it the most impressive if it goes right? Yeah, I think it is. Uh, it's going to take some practice. You're going to have to think about your warden walk. Make sure your warden is okay. Think about how you're going to get that fireball to the Town Hall area. Put down your earthquake spells and then use the giant arrow and make sure you line up the queen to the giant arrow. It hits the Town Hall as well. One thing to remember, of course, is watch out for battle builders. If they start repairing the Town Hall and you take too long to send in that giant arrow, it might have been repaired and then it might go wrong. But on this base, I know it's a friendly challenge, guys, but I thought, yeah, let's try something a bit different. Different. You know, we've got all these different attacks. Fireball at the moment is really good. But I thought, yeah, let's try taking out the town hall nice and early and see how easy it is to get three stars. And it is pretty easy. We've got those root riders. We've got the rest of the troops. All I would say is remember to use your druids on the Grand Warden at the beginning, a couple on the Warden walk. And then when you've used the fireball, make sure to put a couple more down. You don't want to just leave your Grand Warden. Those druids turn into bears and he gets taken out. So there is a bit of multitasking. On this channel, what I normally do is easy to use spam attack, sort of difficulty level, I guess, two, three out of 10. This one, probably about 7.1 out of 10, maybe eight on specific bases, centralized town hall bases like this. But yeah, you know, if you did this in clan war, league or war and you get one star, don't blame me. Don't say, oh, I saw this video Sir Moose did. No, just I'm joking, guys. But yeah, you know, it's a bit risky, of course, but it's something different. And we do have another replay we're going to check out as well. Another town hall that's pretty difficult to take out here, but... I mean, I'm just being honest here. With the fireball attack, we're going to start with the Grand Warden at the top there. Yes, with the fireball attack, that compartment at the bottom there is a better target, really, there. Because you can take out the clan castle, all of those defences. So we're just trying to show off here, really. I know it's a friendly challenge. So again, Grand Warden at the top there. I guess the mission here is to take out the single target Inferno, then think about sending in the fireball. And you are going to find bases a lot easier than this to do it on. You know, when the town hall is on the edge, sort of less towards the centre of the base. So I have chosen some pretty difficult ones here. And it did take a few attempts, of course, guys. This wasn't easy. Uh, but yeah, here we go. Single target Inferno, goodbye. And at this point, I'm thinking, right, we need to start thinking about these invisibility spells. But what I said earlier at this point is just make sure your Grand Warden's okay. Keep those druids healing him up there because you don't want to sort of... Well, things can go wrong quickly, can't they? So there we go. There's our invisibility spells overlapping everywhere. I've no idea where that fireball's going. I'm hoping it's going to the center of the base. And it has earthquake spells. And look, everything's gone apart from the town hall. Then we need to send in the queen. There's no battle builders there, so I can just leave the town hall there. I don't need to rush it and get taken out by the giant arrow. So there we go. Queen in the corner of the base, lined her up with that giant arrow. Town hall's there. I'm safe. Nothing can take me. Ah, gone. Goodbye. Yes. So there we go, guys. And then that is our other side of the funnel with the queen. She's got the healers with her there. She's got the giant arrow and healer puppet. A beautiful combination, especially for air attacks normally. But in this case, yeah, fantastic. We're sending those root riders, Valkyries. We've got Valkyries, haven't we? Yeah. 
and the druids just keep on feeding the druids onto the battlefield to keep a constant source of health for your main army royal champion rocket spear and seeking shield is amazing well it is now after the buff it's pretty good anyway but with the buff now we've got 10 uses of the rocket spear haven't we absolutely fantastic use that to snipe areas of the base and as you can see it should be a pretty comfortable three stars if everything else goes right so let's be realistic here guys is it a difficult attack yeah is it the best attack no is it one of the most impressive attacks if it works well and you do it in something like clan war league or war yes is it one of the worst attacks if it doesn't go well and you just get one star yes so uh <laughs> <laughs> great summary there basically if it works it's great it's a bit different isn't it guys and i like doing things like this so let me know what you think in the video comments are you going to give it a try or not and remember to hit that subscribe button and notification bell join the samus army and do remember on this channel we do have something called a creator code that's where you can help support your favorite content creator in game by using their code our code is code moose any support will be amazing and you do need to renew it once a week anyway remember to practice your funneling remember to practice your giant arrow trajectory and have fun see you later guys bye